<laughs> so you, you can, <laughs> well, there's a lot of work for a lot of people. Um, you, I'm sorry. There is no history more detailed on Wikipedia than American history. Okay. Um, I caramba, this is in depth. Pre-Columbian era. Um, I would pick it up from Christopher Columbus, just for now. Like, whoa, whoa, take me to, this is creepy how detailed this article is. <laughs> like, wow, take me to some, a little bit of head. You know, maybe I should just go to the Christopher Columbus article. <laughs> This is so deep. You know, to some degree, um, there, the Mayflower. See, see, I like famous words. It's like, yeah, you can dig into all the history, but what does the average person know and love in the sovereignty of God? Okay, the Mayflower, a famous term. The Mayflower was the ship that transported the first English separatists, known today as the Pilgrims, from Plymouth to the New World, okay, in 1620. There were 102 passengers, a cruiser, and... This voyage has become an iconic story in some of the early times with its story of destroying the nurse from winter. So Mayflower. Oh my gosh, even the owner his name was Christopher. But Mayflower is father. It's so beautiful because flower flower is father. And then May is three plus ones in front of that. The Mayflower. The voyage of the Mayflower for the father. Okay? Very precious um, voyage. So what I just said, the voyage of the Mayflower is father. But Mayflower is gorgeous. Look at look at this. So this is so beautiful because flower is father and may there you go i just this is so touching because the offset is gorgeous everything is screaming with this look at this so father i have to say this so father equals 58 in six letters and 18 strokes may flower oh my goodness is 118 exactly 60 points offset remember it's all threes and ideally sixes from what i've seen and you have nine letters, 27 strokes. Everything is in gorgeous threes, pegged around the name above all names, Father. So Mayflower is plus 60 from Father, a king offset for the Trinity. Father, Mayflower. <laughs> oh man, that's good. Um, and then the Pilgrims is also Father, that set of letters. Um, Plymouth um, is Father, where they left. New world, everything divides by three. Fine. Okay. You can see how extensive. So that was cool, solving the Mayflower. Um, like you just want, like the, the juiciest, like the, the heart terms, like the, the most popular, famous terms that everyone knows about American history. And then you can go deeper as you want. Um, let's see. What? Uh, we saw Christopher Columbus. I guess I kind of want to set a document, didn't I? Hold on. Oh, for some reason. Oh, it's going to crash. No, nope, it did open it. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. So the Mayflower. Oh, it's just so head swimming. Okay, so this is kind of cool. Now you get into the colonization. Um... The first successful Jamestown was established in the James River in Virginia. Jesus, Jamestown was mean. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's solve some U.S. presidents. I, I don't. I don't. And we should solve the states. That's kind of what I wanted to. Um, so where were, where were the, we were going to solve the East Coast states. Um, like where, the, where the, the roots of the country began. So um, I'd like to, to get plus ones, Massachusetts, the New Hampshire. 
start with the easy ones. Rhode Island. Vermont. Plymouth Colony. This was like the original settlement. Oh, man. So head swimming all this. Let's go to the... Okay. So New Hampshire. Father. New Hampshire. Father. Let's, let's do state names. Rhode Island. Father. How does that build? Rhode is plus two. Island is plus two. Father. Vermont is Christ. Yeah, Vermont is false in Christ. Plymouth Colony. Well, at first U.S. Presidents. Oops. So Plymouth Colony, I guess, was the first settlement? Was it, was it like, really the first settlement of the U.S.? If it is, that makes sense, because Plymouth is the screaming out father. And then colony divides by three. In fact, it divides by six. So this this is kind of a satisfying route to, to dig into if you want to talk about roots of the United States. Um, so Plymouth is the main word. Um, very obvious Plymouth for father. Offsets of sixes. English colonial venture in North America. Yeah, so that's the key word. It was one of the earliest successful colonies to be founded by the English in North America, along with Jamestown and other settlements, and the first sizable permanent English settlement in the Union. Crazy, eh? Okay. Um, I just want to check out the names of some of the U.S. presidents presidents and see which ones have father offsets. List of presidents of the United States, because we solved the White House for father. Oh boy, should we solve the seal of the president of the United States? There it is, folks. You heard it here first. The letters, see now we get some satisfying. So the letters that exist are plus one, so for father. So this whole text is plus one father. And it's really high, obviously. It's 312 plus 42. 300, 312 plus 42. 354 points higher than father. So, there it is. You heard it here first. Seal of the President of the United States, father. Um, that was cool. And I forget... Uh, this slogan divides by three with a plus two, a plus one father in the middle, and then that uh, divides by three on the end. Two, one, three. Pluribus. So the, the Trinity glorifying, okay, that's cool. What is it? It's a seal. The word seal is obviously father. Um, okay. Um, fun stuff, okay. So let's just see some of the famous names. So Washington is father, um, and then his first name divides by three, so that maintains offset. Um, <laughs> Presidents, Holy Ghost. John Adams. Oh, that's so beautiful. Because Adam is father. Like, Adam was the first man. Today is the 19th. Adam adds to 19. Today is September 19th. I'm very aware of the plus one nature of the day. Um, <clears throat> and this is so cool because um, uh, Adam is 19. Then the NS hooked up so that John Adams altogether is father on the lips of men. Just like George Washington on the lips of men is also offset plus one father. Okay. Does he have a middle name? I don't know. No, not as recorded. Okay. Thomas Jefferson. I know the name Thomas is famous from the Bible, is father, all by itself. And then Jefferson is Jesus, um, or Christ. 
And then so Father plus Jesus, there's your three fests. Okay, all right. Um, James Madison, both words divide by three. Um, James Monroe, plus two. John Quincy Adams. Andrew is Christ. Jackson, father. Well, that's a cool, that's a famous name, Jackson for father. Jackson equals number. Um, <laughs> I can't get wait to get to Mr. Abraham Lincoln. Mr. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> oh boy. Look, he was even the 16th president of the United States, which is plus one for father. <laughs> um, So we solved Lincoln, very satisfying. Interestingly, I got a revelation on, you know, the atomic number of gold is 79, which is plus one, which is what Lincoln equals. Plus one, father. Remember Kentucky was Christ. You put those two together. Oh boy, what else do we want to? <laughs> you almost want a list of like the most famous words in American history. Like, if you were to summarize the most well-known, talked about words and names, like the key names, like the most famous, that's what I'm after. Like, on the lips of men, if we were to add up the names that have been spoken the most on the lips of men, that would be an interesting start. Um, gosh, there's a lot of them, of course. Franklin, I know, is a father name. Just like William. So is Harry and Henry. Aye. So that's a big task for someone to solve all the US presidents, one by one. <laughs> Let's see. Oops. Okay, what are some of the most famous words in American history? Most famous words in American history. Okay, that influential people. Ford, his father, Thomas, his father, Thomas Edison. Oh boy, that'll. This is just going to be a silly long list. Okay. Well, maybe I should continue solving the states because that's what everyone, like the individual states as they are today. Maybe that's what I should stick with for now. So, we did California for father. Texas, I want to do the plus ones today. Pennsylvania, plus two. Georgia. Michigan. So Michigan is a plus one. Michigan. That's very beautiful. That's very beautiful. That is actually quite riveting. Um, because now, yeah, the M and the G is um, 15 versus 6, yeah. 
Put all these guys together, it gives you your 21. Add the C. There's your 24. And then the rest is sixes. Michigan is obvious for father. So let's dig in now. So what so what in Michigan? Oh my, so that's a cool location. So Michigan is right around the Great Lakes. Michigan is father. Um, I'll bet you you could almost you could all probably find love in Michigan if you popped off ten points. Yeah, find love in Michigan. It's beautiful. Find love in Michigan. You pop off the I and the A, and the rest equals love. That's a perfectly symmetrical love in Michigan. And um, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, so we found that's a beautiful love in Michigan. And then you get, you can also get the, um, oh my gosh, look at the love in Michigan. See, it's, it's good to slow down. You got to slow down, otherwise you're just like, where do we? So Michigan, look at the love in Michigan. That is so beautiful. So the, the 27 bookends is half love. And then, the, and then this gorgeous thing is half love in the center. There's your love in Michigan, and it perfectly parallels father. Great state of Michigan, so three plus three times three plus. All right, Michigan. So let's let's spend a little more time in Michigan. Um, so it's it's by the Great Lakes. Um, the Great Lakes state. Always take a look at the flag. Threes. So they got the, the slogan there, E Pluribus Unum. I can solve that very nicely. It's a it's a it's a Trinity glorifying experience just like the United States of America. Um, in fact it's very special, eight times twenty-four, eight times triple A. But it's it's very um, similar to what God ordained in the United States of America, where you have a plus two right there, you have the plus one right there, and then you have the words that divide by three right there. Okay, so it's a Trinity glorifying experience in both, e pluribus unum. Interesting, interesting the word father is united in pluribus. It's fine. Okay, so let's, let's go back to Michigan. Um, I don't particularly feel like solving that. That's, this this is a lovely three fest, three to the power of four. Um, I like the so seal. This is so cool. Every state and country seems to have a, a flag and a seal. Like at least in America, seal is father, flag is Jesus. So put the two to, this and the seal is like the very symbol of authority. Like that's when the documents are so seal plus flag, beautiful threes, very obvious because the letters that divide by three link them together in pure sixes. Very beautiful. That's gorgeous. Seal and flag. Um, but the seal belongs to the father. The, the administrator, the one who makes documents and is the leader and... Wow. The Great Seal of the State of Michigan. That will have a plus one offset. So the Great Seal. Now you know, and now you know why it's the Great Seal. Because it's the EA of Father. Okay. The word, it all points to Father. So the Great Seal. You can practically spell father verbatim from those letters. So the great seal. What's the offset from father? Good night. It's beautiful. 21 plus it's 63. Father, the great seal. So father owns the great seal. Look at all the look at the A-E's, the T's, the H, the R. Like it's practically letter for letter. Like you've got every letter in there except for the F, which is mathematically declared. That's the whole idea. But look at look at Look at how Father owns the Great Seal. Pretty obvious, isn't it? Like... Okay. Um, so that's instructive. Um, 
Oh man, that's cool. I never... Now I get to solve a nickname. Many places have a nickname. Um, or, or what you call another name. Well, the word nickname actually parallels father. It's plus 12. And that's screamingly beautiful because the two N's equal the TH. An A equals an A. And an E equals an E. That's, that's ridiculous. Nickname is ridiculous for father. And uh, there you go. 24, 24, and the rest is like double, it's like double six, 12. That's like insanely perfect. So pay attention to nicknames. <laughs> Father owns nickname. You know, I said, there it is. Nickname. Oh, what's the nickname of Michigan? Oh, the Great Lakes State, the Wolverine State, the Mitten State. You can solve all those for homework. You know, the one that sounds the coolest is the Great Lake State because you have alliteration. So pay attention to repeated letters and alliteration that's fun to say because uh, that's that's typically what God likes. Like we are, so what would you say, the Great Lake State, or would you use an S? If you leave the S off and be efficient, the Great Lake State, you end up with a novelty plus one father offset, and I really, really like that. I think that's really gorgeous, because it goes three, two, one. And there's your letters that divide by three in red. Uh, here's your uh, plus two. By the way, the color yellow is plus two, and then I will go blue. Oh, no, sorry. These are both plus two, lake and state, which merge together to make father plus one. So the Great Lake State overall is an offset of father. The Great Lake State, father, plus 120 exactly, very kingly six point. The Great Lake State, Michigan. I think that's fantastic. The Great Lake State. And, and like I said, pay attention to EA words like lake and state. It's the, the AE is of father, great, Lake, state. It's all pointing to father, father, father. A E A E A E. The Great Lake State, Michigan. That was fun. That was really quite rewarding. I like that. We solved nickname the Great Lake State. Um, Michigan. Quite unique, isn't it? Quite unique in its geography. I mean, it's surrounded by water. That's very unique. It's, it's bordering my country, Canada. I think that's quite special. I mean, it borders. You know, Toronto and the capital of Canada. I mean, this is the hub in the sovereignty of, excuse me, in the sovereignty of God. This zone right here is the Canadian hub, you know, where, where our capital is in Ontario and Ottawa and Toronto. So, sovereignty of God, I'm not paying attention to this here. Um, so, that was cool. Um, so, Michigan. Man, like, uh, this is a lot of these. Lansing is father. I don't even know what Detroit is also father. <laughs> All right. Father owns Michigan. Um, largest metro, Metro Detroit. And I know metro is um, uh, Christ. So when you put metro together with something, so metro, Christ, together with father, you get beautiful threes. In fact, it's very beautiful. It's triple love perfectly. Triple love, metro Detroit. Okay. So, you can solve the mountains if you want, you can, uh, like Arvon, just like Everest is father, and then hooks up with Mount and all this, and, oh, Lake Erie, you know, Erie is father, and hooks up with Lake, with just Christ, and, um, all right, so, so, one step at a time here, chill, so, Detroit, the largest, most populous city, yeah, it's Detroit, so Detroit is father, we've done that one before. It's the fourth largest city in the Midwest, so they say. Okay, so Detroit is father. Lansang's father is the capital. Lansang. Two N's make a TH in father. A is an A. Glaring. Lansing, Michigan. So there are, there are the two, this is the capital, man. The heart of Michigan. This is huge. This, this is it, folks. Check it out. There's the seal. So Lansing, father. Michigan, father. And both of these are exceptional because they both contain two plus twos. And very beautifully so, because an N plus an N equals the TH at the center of father. And the H and N in Michigan, similar, this is an offset of six, 
you know, it's just very beautiful. And then the rest are plus ones and threes that parallel father to make the overall offset of father. Lansing, Michigan. Don't you want to go there now and be like, introduce me to some father figures here. Ordained by heaven. Ordained by God the Father, this Lansing, Michigan. Father, Father. Father, Father. The heart of Michigan. Heart, Father, Michigan, Father. In fact, that's disturbing because heart is six points less than father and Michigan is six points higher than father. Now you're getting to the heart of the matter. Now you're going to where you want to be. Lansing, Michigan. Father, Father. Where the decisions are made and the county is run. Straight from the father to you. There, there. That's where a father does business. He's a leader. He's got a statue. He makes laws. He conducts the business affairs of the jurisdiction that he's governor over. Father. By the way, the word spire, what's on the top of this thing? It's called a dome, father. It's called a steeple, father. It's called a spire, father. Father is on top. There. Father. Father is on top. <laughs> this is what you call a government building. Government is father, so government building maintains the offset in threes for the Trinity Father. Okay, what else are we going to hit on here? I. Ugh. Oh, the Capitol is father. Michigan. The great state of Michigan. Okay. And the Great Lakes is, a, is an obvious Trinity glorifying experience. Every word divides by three. Um, Okay. All right, well that was fun, solving some gems from Michigan. New Jersey, father. I'm just... New Jersey is glaring, father. Just take a look, the word Jersey all by itself is Father. And this is so glaring for Father, New Jersey. Because Jersey is Father, and then New adds a multiple of six, which is what you want in offsets of Fathers. It's very obvious. So New Jersey is, in fact, exactly, it's so beautiful. This is ridiculous, New Jersey. This is amazing, because New is 42. Jersey is 24, higher than Father. That's 42 plus 24 is 66, perfectly on top of Father. What's amazing to me about that is Father is 58, 42 less than 100. That is supplied by the new, word new all by itself. Jersey comes along and you're in heaven. New Jersey is like Father, Father, like... So here it is. So here's New Jersey. It, it very much looks like the roots, like, the, like this is where the early settlers would have been. New Jersey. And folks, when people buy a jersey at the sports store, a sport jersey, let's, let's, what's on the back of a jersey? Oh, a name and a number. It's like God is saying something to us. He's like, get into Gematria. Uh, okay, jersey is a state in the northeastern states, Christ. Northeastern county. Ooh, I just got a little thought come to me. Nation is father. State is Christ and city or town divides by three is Holy Ghost. That's a, that's a one, two, three combo. So nation is, is screaming out Father. Uh, in fact, it's, it, the, the design of the word nation is just like the word united in the United States, just like the word number. So first you have the nation, which Father. Then you have a state, Christ. 
Okay. And then you have the city or town, Holy Ghost divided by three. Literally plus one, plus two, three. Nation, state, town, nation, state, city. Makes a beautiful three fest. If you chose the word town, you get perfectly the famous will you marry me. Um, okay. But the nation, father. And then so we are concerned with the fathers of the nation. So we solve Christopher Columbus. We solve, we solve Washington for father. We, we, you know, we're solving the fathers of the nation, the roots. Um, it's the most densely populated. Really? Well, that's important to know. New Jersey is the most densely populated. And it's screaming out, Father. Everyone wants in to New Jersey. <laughs> okay. That's a huge fact to know. It's the most densely populated New Jersey of the 50 United States. Third wealthiest per capita income. Wow, exactly. The province of New Jersey, named after Jersey, which is Father. And then this all maintains offset. That's a crazy offset from Father. And then this is crazy because the Channel Islands, every word divides by three, so that maintains offset from Jersey for Father. Crazy. Industrial revolution is a, is a plus one plus one combo for father. Father is industrial. Revolution is father. There's love and revolution. So the industrial revolution is a father father combo. Trenton, father. It's the capital of New Jersey. I didn't know that. Largest city. Newark, threes. Bet you can find father in that. In fact, it's on the end. So just because it's not a father offset, if you spend the time, you'll see father screaming at you. In fact, Newark is just giving it to me. According to Wikipedia, this is the largest city in New Jersey. And given that New Jersey is the most densely populated Newark, New Jersey. Well, find father in Newark. It's right on the end. And what's glaring about that final set of letters is you get the three plus twos, the one plus one, and then the rest divides by three. Okay. So we found father in Newark, like it was just sitting there. And then what's cool, though, is because Newark divides by three, now when you say Newark, New Jersey, it'll parallel father once again. Now you know why we memorize names. So Trenton is the capital. There's the governor's office. Okay, so we got some words to solve here. The word governor is pure threes, based on the root govern, which is three. Governor's office, therefore, will divide by three. The governor's office will equal will you marry me. Um, Capital city. This is a huge gem. Capital is father. Capital city. Nickname, capital city, flag, turn. Ouch, this is huge. So Trenton. Seal of the city of Trenton. Seal, father, and then Trenton, father. 1792. Whoa. So, and it's glaring. It's glaring. Look at the love in the center of Trenton. And, or you can take the TNT for your love. 
but like allow me to point out the beautiful in, in Trenton for father. Look at this. I'm going to shoot for symmetry. 